I would not be here today but for Judge Todd W. Bierke. Some of the history has been uh, indicated already, but when I began practicing law in early 1995, Todd was a prosecutor in the DA's office, and I did defense work. And while we were on opposite sides of cases, I appreciated his integrity, his grasp of the law, and his tremendous work ethic. We were also both in the military and bonded over issues relative to our service and matters affecting veterans. I helped to manage Judge Bierke's successful campaign for judge in 2007. I then became one of his court commissioners and held that role until now. Throughout my career, Todd has been a valued mentor and a trusted friend. He encouraged me to apply for this position and I was grateful for the strong support uh, that he gave during that process. Judge Bierke, words alone cannot express my gratitude. You did wonderful things on the bench and positively impacted so many lives. I intend to carry on your legacy of serving others. Let's have a round of applause for retired Judge Bierke. As I look around this room, I see judges, I see law enforcement, Earlier we saw some military personnel, attorneys, politicians, court staff, and professionals of every stripe. There's a lot of power in this room. I want to be mindful of the people that are not sitting here today. The poor, the marginalized, crime victims, and those suffering from mental illness and addiction. If we are going to be a just society, they need a, a seat at the table too. Our court system can't work for some, it must work for all. I ask your help in making that happen. On my first day last week, Judge Scott Horn said, you're gonna see the law in the courtroom from a very different perspective and you have these different groups of people wanting and expecting different things. He's right. It's going to be quite a change from sitting as an advocate at one of those tables. Thank you, judges, for being here today. Judges uh, Mike Mulroy and John Perlich were already on the bench when I began appearing in their courtrooms as a shiny new lawyer in 1995. Judge Ramona Gonzalez took the bench later that year and now serves as our presiding judge. And I'm old enough to remember appearing before Judge Peter Pappas. There's a special kind of scariness and anxiety <laughs> coming into court in those first few months. The best gift that any new lawyer can receive is to appear in front of professionals where high standards for decorum and preparedness are both displayed by the judges and expected of the parties that appear before them. This is how we maintain the reputation of the profession and keep the public's trust in our noble work. 